Oh, <clears throat> it's a shame. Oh, this is a 9.50 a.m. Tuesday, 30th of May, 2017. I feel self-conscious. Oh no, I'm making a video. <laughs> shame, look, shame, look, look, shame, shame. <clears throat> My breast feels they they seem smaller. Maybe it's cold because today is very cold. So yeah, I felt like they were slightly looking a bit small. Maybe maybe that happens with the weather. It really looks even smaller than usual. What is that? Well, I, I guess when you're in the hot weather, they expand or something. <laughs> No. Or maybe I was eating too much food yesterday. And, 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 and I don't know. But sometimes, sometimes in the morning when I look at them, it's like, oh, okay, they look okay. But other times, like, today was like, oh, wait a minute, why does it look so small? I think, I think it's my weight. Anyway, so. I haven't been, well, I I did eat my veggie stew yesterday, so yes, that is good. Uh, it's not that sore. Uh, usually, it's not. It's not even swollen. Like hmm? it's not that swollen. It's a bit uh, sore there. <coughs> oh, uh, I got up around. Uh, Oh, I kept on pressing the snooze button. So I got around 9.30, I got out of bed. I was like, I don't want to get up. I don't want to get up. No. I don't want to. It's so cold. It is definitely cold here. It's a bit cold. Like, no, I don't want to go. Well, yeah, yesterday someone called me about some job I applied. But I told them, I was on the train, so I told them I'll call them back. So after the, uh, uh, you know, the electrolysis, I, um, I called them. And then they're like, I don't know, well, they took my number and said they'll call me later. And well, I don't think they're going to call me. <laughs> uh. <laughs> <clears throat> Yesterday was so messed up because when I went to the, I, I was supposed to catch the train at 9.36 and I was there earlier, but the train was cancelled because apparently there was some kind of a police operation in Parramatta or something, you know, a couple of stations down, and so that train was cancelled and the next train was at 11.49, uh, so I wait, we waited for that and that one was delayed. So, so the train eventually came at 12.02 and I thought, oh my god, I'm going to be late like 10 minutes, 15 minutes. But then in the train, I was listening to a podcast <laughs> and then, um, <laughs> angry makeup. <up. laughs> and then, uh, oh shit, it's so, it's so. so. But they were making these announcements on the, you know, the, the train, and I didn't hear it. So, oh, so apparently, like, if I wanted to go to where I was going, usually the train where I got in, it would go directly to my destination. But this time, uh, in order to go to my destination, I had to get off at Wynyard, which is a station or, or a town hall or something. And uh, I had to change trains. So I didn't hear that. So I ended, I ended up at a different station. St. James Station, and so I made my video, and then I was like, oh my god, I'm like, I'm going to be like, Ugh. by the time it was already past one, and I was like, oh my god, not a, I could have gotten to my destination at 1.15, but because of this other fuck up, where I didn't listen to the announcements, I, you know, had to change trains, and I got, I got oh, Jesus, it was such a, so I ended up getting there on 1.35, so, you know, I lost, like, and she was like, oh, no, you gotta pay for the three hours, and I was like, 
Yeah, okay, that sounds, sounds fair, and, um, you know, so, you know, you're ready to go. that sounds fair. Um, but the thing is, uh, I was like, uh, man, it was just such a, oh, such a drag, because, I was, you know, I was, like, really prepared, and I was ready to go, but the train really, uh, fucked things up. So that kind of sucked. <coughs> oh, my voice is so fucked up. I think it's the cold weather. It's the cold weather. Oh, man. Oh, it's 9.55. 9.55. I have to leave here. No, I can I, I leave here at ten ten because I gotta be there at ten thirty. Um, yeah. And then coming back home was like such a drag as well. I had to get off at Paramount Station. I gotta wait there for like I don't know. While and uh, it was just yesterday was such a like a I think I get, I don't think I got home around six thirty or something or five thirty I don't know I, I got home pretty late and, uh, <coughs> she was booked for next week so I made an appointment for like four hours but this one was on uh, July July the third like a month away so I think I think doing it once a month is okay. I don't need to do it every week. It's expensive. And <sighs> so, you know, I mean, it's going to take a while, I think. So I'll just do it once a month, you know. I'm going to leave it at that. What's the month? I will, I will, yes, and work on my voice. Because I think, I think my voice, uh, that that's definitely affecting my confidence. My confidence. And, uh, yeah, I just have to practice every day. That's, that's all I have to do. It's not really... Because my voice is already kind of low anyway. I mean, like, I'm in a higher pitch because of the you know, hormones and surgery and all of that. <clears throat> Over the years, it's gradually gotten a bit... So it's easier for me to uh, change it, I think. Uh, yeah, maybe it's a bit smaller. Yeah. It's a bit smaller. Yeah. Uh, so I go there and apply for jobs. I do want to work. I want to make some money, and I want to. Uh, yeah, I want to fuck. I don't know. I, I know I've been saying I'm gonna do all of this and do all of that, but you know, <clears throat> I think I'm doing quite. Uh, given my life circumstances, I think the economy is gonna really go bad over the next couple of years. I feel like we're gonna have a recession, a major, major recession. And the global economy is going to tank. And then, and then people are going to like lining up on the streets like for jobs. I, I, I saw this movie, this Australian film, where it's about, it was set during the Great Depression. And then during that time, I don't think there was any welfare. So people used to like uh, literally get up early and you know they, 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 they would run to the local place where the newspaper will they will put the job advertisement they will some some guy will come out they didn't have any internet or anything so they, they, they he would uh, put the job vacancies in the list in the newspaper and all these people be lining up and they'll they'll look for the job and everyone will run to find the job because it's like it's like first come, first served. So, you, so people will get up literally in the early in the morning, will line up for the 
latest job vacancy list to come out and then people run to the place and sometimes you get the job sometimes you don't because someone else got it and it's like oh man, that was how it was man oh i didn't i didn't brush my hair so I'm like oh. So that's the real. Uh, he said, "I think that's gonna come to us. I think, I think, I think like uh, we're gonna get there. And then people are gonna be lining up in the streets, and it's like, ooh, it's gonna be like a, oh no, they're gonna, they're gonna get rid of welfare, <laughs> and then we're gonna be all screwed. Oh, ah." Uh, I'm, I'm a bit, you know. I'm a missing. You know, I've been on welfare for most of my life, so it's like I'm a bum, career bum. <laughs> It's so funny. It's it's just so fucked. I don't feel good about it. Um, I don't know. You just feel everything. You just feel like you're a slave to everything. Either you're, you're slave to the. I just feel so disempowered. Like what the fuck. <clears throat> anyway, so oh, oh, I'm gonna go to the job. I gotta. Well, at least at least I'm happy. You know, I mean, I'm happy with my transition, so that's good. Uh, I just need to get a career. How do I do that? It's like, yeah. So like uh, you know lose weight and things. Uh, so anyway, so I'll be. I'll just try to check it out, you know, because my you know my hips and stuff are you know they're, they're developing, so I'm happy with that. So yeah. it's very cold today. Yeah. Why did it come? All right, so I gotta go. Yeah. Oh yeah, yeah. Uh, so this one, uh, I, I learned this phrase called "hiki komori" yesterday. I was listening to a podcast by Angry Big Town. Do you see it? We don't have to be hiki komoris. And I, and I googled the phrase "hiki komori," and apparently, look at my room. My room's like a, I, I, I'm basically like one of those hiki komoris. It's like. Oh my god, I'm, I'm a hippie, hippie, but I'm trying so hard not to be, <clears throat> you know, I, I, I realize that I'm becoming a recluse, you know, uh, it, it happens very slowly, like, you know, I'm trying so hard not to be a recluse, I am trying, oh my god, it's not easy, I'm trying, I don't want to be, but look at me, I'm, I'm like a hiki kimori. Look at me, I spent my whole life in my room, like a recluse. Yeah. Oh, oh cool. Oh, all these pimples and everything. Oh, so, you know, it's gradually going, but you know, it's gonna take time. It's gonna take time. Yeah. Because I, I gotta work on my voice. I think I'll be so confident. I'm so confident if I can uh, get that done. That's my one more Gotta work on my voice. I think I'll be very happy. It's not quite feminine right now. But this camera, it makes my face look long. This thing, I, I want to start filming with my Canon camera, the DSLR, because it's got a good lens. And, you know, 
gonna be, that show up my face better because this one tends to my face look big or long or something. It's like uh, uh, anyway. Uh, uh. There's snot coming out of my nose. Ah, oh, so ugly. <laughs> I'm gonna go home now. I applied for six jobs. Oh, I don't have tissue paper. I don't want to touch my nose because I just hate it. You know, because I like the music keyboard and the keyboard ends up. So just... <laughs> oh, anyway, I gotta go home. It's not. Oh, oh. oh shit, my snot's still there. What am I gonna use? I'm gonna be so disgusting. Ah, oh, yes, I did. <laughs> anyway, so yes, I rubbed my snot on my t shirt because I'm very disgusting. Um, I also got I got a, jo a call from one of the jobs I applied for today. I, I was just I just spoke to him on the phone. I was waiting for my mom to pick me up. And yeah, he just uh, I think it was uh, I applied for a lot of graduate kind of positions like entry level. I just put the keyword graduate and just apply for anything. <laughs> uh, yes, I want to get a job. I want to make money. <laughs> Um, so, um, so yeah, he, he asked me some questions and, uh, you know, I told him, you know, I worked at the, I haven't done much and <laughs> after I graduated in 2011, he was like, so what have you been doing since then? Uh, I haven't done much. I, I didn't, I didn't work at a community legal center for six months and, uh, anyway, so, uh, he said that, uh, Oh, he took uh, he took some details on it. At the end, uh, he goes, "Oh, we're we're doing the, we're looking through the resumes, and then at the end of the week or something, we'll call you back." And I go, and "This is I thought that was my, I thought he was saying, oh, okay, we're, we're not gonna call you.'" So I go, I go, "Oh, thanks for calling me." But he goes, "Oh no, oh, oh. I don't know." But the way he ended it sounded promising because he goes, "When I said thanks for calling me, he goes, oh." Oh, well, I'll talk to you soon or something. So I was like, hmm, that, that sounds interesting. He might, you know, call back again. So, yeah. Because I'm, I'm always like, oh, thank you for calling me. You're not going to call me back. Anyways, I don't know. Maybe they'll call me or they won't call. But... So I did apply for six jobs. So. But it's so, I don't know. It's just so depressing. It's like, <sighs> mm -hmm. But I didn't apply for them. I just spoke to someone on the phone. That's something. <laughs> you know, I applied for like maybe 20 something jobs this month. I guess they're making us apply. <laughs> so I guess it's it's having some effect because I'm applying for more jobs. And I, I spoke to two people. I went to one interview. It is much better than before, I think. So anyway, so I guess I better apply for more jobs. Say, so I might get more. I, I think I should just call people up and uh, and talk to them. It's like, and, and also it's like at home I can do it much better than in the middle of the street when I'm walking and. Uh, so, this space not. Uh, I was so hot. It's like the snot was leaking. It's the reason I, I don't want to touch my face is because like, the keyboards are so dirty. I don't want that, my hands are dirty and I don't, I don't know, so I, I had a tissue paper, I used the tissue, I was like, eh. but it's not it was coming, I was like, eh, eh. I don't care, I'm not gonna touch my face, so, uh, anyway, I'll go home now, eat my breakfast and prepare my veggie stew, oh shit, I gotta go to this place tomorrow, oh my god. <laughs>